Hello everyone, this is Damian Geppetto here, and I am recording a new video to show everybody how to start a new saved game in Football Manager 2022. Thank you for coming to the channel. Please like and subscribe, and make sure you drop a comment in the comment section to help with the algorithm. We're just going to go from the very beginning and show this what you should do to set up your game and what you should do from day one. So let's start a new game and it's a career. We're going to go with Newcastle. Um, the reason being that they have a $200 million transfer budget that they start out with season one. Here we go. So we're going to go advanced setup. Don't want to do quick start. This, this is a spreadsheet manager game. Go into the advanced setup here. And so what we got here. So this is where, uh, this is the leagues that it defaults to, right? So these are all the playable leagues, okay? You don't necessarily need to add any more playable leagues. This has, you know, Sky BET, so that's all of the English leagues, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Scottish, and Spanish, okay? And that's the default it has because that's what I had put on my last save. So we're going to add a bunch of teams here, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to add places where there's a good player base. We're going to add Austria in, in Europe. And I think that's all we need to add in Europe is Austria. And then, okay, the Netherlands. Sorry, I lied. So we'll go Austria and Netherlands uh, in Europe. I think I'll add Wales as well. Nothing in North America is needed. South America, Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. So then we're going to confirm. Okay, so we added a bunch. Now, we're not going to put Argentina playable. View only. Okay, and then Austrian. View only. As you see, it went from two and a half stars, three stars, three and a half stars. So Brazilian League, view only. We are back to four stars, right? So I could leave the rest, but I'm not going to make them playable. That is view only and view only in Wales. We can play in the English league. We can play in the French league. We can play in the German league. We can play in the Italian league. We can play in the Portuguese league. We can play in the Scottish league, the Spanish, and, oh, I forgot Uruguayan. So we'll take that as view only. See, this is why you double check everything. Nothing else needs to be selected here, okay? Um, nothing else. Uh, th this is good to go. So early Preseason, that is perfect. Uh, there's no reason to, to cha ever change this because this will give you the most flexibility with making your team a super stud team. So here we go. We'll start the game. Yes, 30 leagues, 13 nations, small database, start in England, good to go. Bam. Okay, we have loaded up the screen. They took forever to load, so I have cut out that section so you don't have to listen to me hum the tune of Jeopardy. Now, I'm not going to choose this. We're going to uh, do a new profile so I can show you how to make a coach. So let's just pretend this is your very first time. So we're going to name this uh, Marty McFly. Oops, Mc, not McFry. Marty McFly. And Marty McFly is American. I don't remember where he was born. We're going to say. New Bedford, Mass. Shout out to New Bedford. 13, lucky number. 9, good number. 1993. Eh, we'll make him a little younger. 1994. The year I graduated. Figure out how old I am. Not a boomer, but an old man. Anyways, so no favorite team we're going to put on Marty McFly because Marty McFly is an American. Real Americans don't have a football team they like. We like other real sports. This default body is fine. I'm not, I'm not going to waste time showing you guys that. Now let's go to the coaching stuff. So I just I just accepted the default just to save time. You guys can craft your player however you like. What is important? Well, as the head coach, I'm going to say drop. First thing you want to do, drop down your goalkeepings to one. That's going to allocate a lot more points for you right there. See, 21 more points to allocate. So you're going to want to go. Let's see, probably tactical. Tactical is very important. Um, and fitness, I'm also going to drop down to one. Uh, those you, you hire other people to do those, those fields. So you can drop those down to one. And then tactical, technical, 
attacking and defending up to 20. That's that's what I like to do personally. This is how I this is probably a better setup than I made of my guy Damien Geppetto. Uh, mental or working with youngsters. We got eight points left, so I'm going to add four in each, and then that way uh, we've balanced it out. It's all tactical, technical, attacking, defending, and then mental and working with youngsters. It's decent. What we're going to do is we need motivation, determination, and discipline. Okay, those are the stats you want on your coach. Okay, so we're going to drop down player knowledge to one, youngster knowledge to one, and we're going to jump up discipline, motivating, and determination. Now, those are maxed out at 20. This is the perfect way to set up your gun. I have two left, goes into people management. The adaptability at 13, you could make an argument for maybe putting people management a little higher, but you also have coaches that will handle that stuff for you. This looks good. This looks very good for a coach. So Marty McFly is ready to go. So we're gonna hit confirm and we're gonna hit start playing. Marty McFly here. And uh, we're retconning his uh, race. Congratulations, this is Hollywood nowadays. Marty McFly is now cast as a young black man. Newcastle, this is what they are. This, this stuff does not matter at all for the game, but if you are a real role-playing lore person, but as you see here, look at this. Transfer budget, 278 million. 278 million, that just means you can basically build the team how you like it. Payroll budget, 150 million, is middle of the pack middle of the pack for the Premier League, but that's good enough to get it going. And then you just click next. This is all stuff that you can see in the actual management style of the game. You don't need to worry about this. This is basically just an overview. Okay, just move on. This is important though. Sign high reputation players. They really want you to sign high reputation players. Grow the club's reputation. These are This is what's expected of you as the coach in order to keep your job and not get fired. Grow the club's reputation. Well, sign, signing players does that and winning does that. Okay, increased commercial, commercial revenue. Favored, but you see this, it's only got one notch. So these are three notches. That means it's really important. One notch, you don't even need to worry about the commercial revenue then. Work within the payroll budget, four notches. Obviously, every time you want to work within the budgets, it doesn't matter. Every team says that. Uh, they want to finish the top half of the premiere, and they want to reach the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. Okay. Carabao Cup quarterfinal is only two notches, so it's preferred, not required, so you don't need to worry about the Carabao Cup. Qualify for the Euro Cup at the end of the 22-23 season. That would be the next season. So basically top half this season, qualify for the Euro Cup next season is preferred, but it's not required. And then uh, work towards qualifying for the Champions Cup the next two years. But you get a two-year contract when you start out with the game. As long as you do good, you tend to get uh, signed for, for more years. So here we go. We got a few more things. Win a domestic cup preferred at the end of the 25-26 season uh, and qualify for the championship. This is a long ways off if you stay with the team. If you have not played this game yet, click send today on all of these and go through them. They're, this is basically the tutorials on how to play this game, okay? I've played it since 2012 and I did go through them a couple times um, just so that I could make sure I knew this new version well. But once you, if you know the game, you can turn these off and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go next. All right. Now, like I said, if it's your first playthrough, click send today on all of those. Take the time to go through the tutorials so that you know what is going on, what menu does what, how to find certain things, because it's pretty overwhelming for a spreadsheet management game. Do you want to schedule a press conference, enter squad friendly? Yes. Arrange a meeting with the coaching staff. This is up to your preference. I'd say never do it every week, every two weeks or every month, depending on how proactive you are with going through what the staff wants. For this one, we're going to set every month because uh, I'm, I'm usually pretty good about looking at what the staff needs to do. So we're going to set it every month and then we're going to hit confirm. All right. Now, Marty McFly, Newcastle, default save name. I'm just going to leave it as that. Uh, here we go. And this is day one. Here is where you really want to go into it. Now, this is go through all your inbox items. It's going to tell, tell the stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to show you. This is how you turn off those help things. So you go to help here, and then you set yourself to experienced. This actually cannot be reversed. Yes. And then you close. And then it's never going to prompt that to you ever again when you start a game. Okay? So that's done. So this means nothing. Oh, yeah, it hired a 26-year-old, right? I'm a really young coach to be coaching in the Premier League, but whatever. 
Newcastle players in the last year of their contract. Okay, so now when you go down here, if if the play if it's green, if they say green, that means that they 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 want you. They're gonna say like green or white. It'll tell you, yeah, we want them. Okay, but. When you first come to the team, you don't know who's who. You don't know who's going to be happy with you. So just kind of look around. Okay, these are all the players that are going to be leaving at the end of the year. Just delay all these decisions, okay? It's going to prompt you at six months as well, and it's going to prompt you, I believe, one month before. So just, just go ahead and delay the decision. There's plenty of other management things to do. So just go through here. Delay all these decisions, say you don't know because it's a new team. You have no idea what you're doing. Just go right through. Boom. Tactics induction. I'm going to skip that because I already know what I'm doing. I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, we're going to go through some other stuff. So so tactics induction, I uh, will dump, dump into that. But uh, this is the club expectations. I already went over this. This is just rehashing it in case you clicked through that that start screen too quickly. This is just a rehash of everything that's expected of you. Um, Preseason preparation. Now, this is an important email. I always prefer to do tactical first year and tactical if I'm changing the tactics up based off of new players. So we're going to hit tactical. Now, as you can see here, that adds a little more injury risk and hurts their condition. The fatigue is going to be the same no matter what, pretty much, but it adds team cohesion and it adds tactic familiarity as you can see if you drop down to light that's they'll be fine on that but they still have injury risks so uh, you know you go to technical it's going to change it a little bit you know based off of what you go i'm going tactical team cohesion and tactical familiarity are very very important especially when you just come into a new job we've already got some preseason fixtures scheduled okay so i'm not going to worry about that right now injury update this is just letting you know who's hurt okay sorry i forgot about this i i, I jumped by it you have to accept the vision you can always negotiate it but you're, you're probably best off just to just accept the vision in the first season um and, and just go with it now this is basic. This is the rules of the league. And then the transfer window in progress. It's letting you know we're in the transfer window. And since it's here, we're going to show you what this is. And I'm going to show you how to create a tactic. So start out with create a tactic. Now I'm going to show you the secret to winning this game. And this was brought to me by one of my followers on Twitch. Make sure you go there and subscribe, Damian Geppetto on Twitch. But um, one of my followers, Viking Hog, brought this suggestion to me, and it, it is an amazing, amazing way. We're going to do G Gen Press, and we're going to choose the formation, and it is going to be a 4 2 4 wide formation. Okay. And that's the formation we're going with. And we're going to hit confirm. And then we're going to adjust these settings. Now, this is a little cheap for you guys. I might break this section into its own little video because this is how good it is. You don't want to just roll with that. Now, we're going to play attacking football here. So we're going to go attacking 4 2 4 wide. And I'm going to go in possession. We're going to no, we do not want to pass into space. We will keep. The play out of defense that is fine but we are going to do passing directness to shorter and i'm i'm going to drop the tempo down to higher not extremely high just because the extremely high really wears down your players whereas higher is going to wear them down less and you can hit early crosses or work the ball into the box one of the two okay i leave the mixed crosses uh, you can always adjust that based on the team you have. So it, this is personal preference, whether you want to hit early crosses or work the ball into the box. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with work the ball into the box and click on play for set pieces, attacking width. We're going to go to fairly wide because this is a wide formation. Now, in transition, we're going to click off that. We're going to go in transition. Now, G Jim Press, counter press and counter is exactly what you want. Instead of distribute to center backs, I put distribute to target forward here. You distribute to the target forward. This means that the goalkeeper is going to try and serve the ball to your target forward striker. Okay? That's simple. That's all you got to do. That's the only change you need to do. Switch it from distribute to center backs to distribute to target forward. Now, in out of possession, I do a lot of changes. So I'm going to move. 
I'm going to move it to a lower. You could move it to much lower. I move it to a lower, and we leave it as higher line of engagement. Defensive width standard is fine. I, I leave the trigger press much more often for this, but I get rid of prevent short goalkeeper distribution because pulling your line of engagement back and then doing prevent short goalkeeper distribution is uh, counterintuitive and add use tighter marking. Basically what you're doing is you're squeezing all of your players into the center of the field. They're doing short passes. The goalkeeper is trying to kick it up and get it into the attacking third right away. And it's a win-win, win-win-win type of thing. You're probably thinking, okay, now what do you do? Pick all the players. No, 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 no. Do not pick the players first. Set your tactics. Finish them first. So this is going to go with a Okay, we'll put them on the left this time, I think. Um, change it up. So that's going to be a target forward and deep lying forward. That's that's the good setup. You can put this to whatever you want, but this has to be the target forward because the goalkeeper is distributed to whoever this target forward is. And what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to transfer, you're going to buy a player who is super tall and can head the ball so that he gets to all of those goalkeeper long kicks, okay? Wingers is fine. Whether you want to run advanced playmaker, inverted winger, I, just leaving a default winger is what I do. Central midfielder, I'm going to back them off. I want them to be, I want them to be deep lying playmakers. One is support. One is defense. Is exactly how I want it set up. Fullback, central defenders, fullback. That's perfect. So the reason why you go through first and change it to the to the actual roles you want is because when you pick the player, it's going to default off that specific role. We'll just do this. We'll do Willem and Maxim. I tend I tend to just go with whoever it defaults to, or it's suggesting Murphy, but I'm going to pick Ryan Frazier. Oh, he's oh he's just on vacation. So all right, whatever. We'll put Murphy in because he's not on vacation, and then over here. He's on vacation. He's not injured, so uh, I don't think it really matters that much. So we'll put we'll put a million over there, and then let's see what we got for central midfielders. Now this is this is how I like to look at the team rather than uh, that default window that says here's your best starting eleven and all the cycling stuff. This will tell you more because it tells you the role suitability. You see right here, it's got the role that they're good at. You got attacker is Willock, so we're going to throw him in the support role. Defense. We're going to throw Longstaff in there. And then here we go. This is pretty much, you got you got your choice of picks here, right? So we'll put Dumont over there, and then we'll go to this other one, and Kraft can go there. And let's see here. So it looks like, just, so just by doing this, I already am seeing that we need a striker who's tall, and we need central defenders. I mean, this is just clear as day. Um, how he's injured for a while, so Darlow obviously is going to go in. I just tend to to fill in after that. When you go through for to fill in, it's going to default by position. So goalkeeper, goalkeeper, defense, defense, mid, mid, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll just go in. We'll put in one goalkeeper as the first sub, and then after that, we're going to put in uh, our couple of defensive players. I mean, I'm not even looking at their stats or anything like this. So I put two central defenders in there, and then I'm going to put in, all right, let's see, and then we've got, okay, so Mankio is defense left, right. We'll throw him in, and then we'll throw in uh, any other, okay, so Jamal Lewis is defense left. And in the friendlies, you've got 12, so you might as well just, just go. And so now I already I already got the defenders in, so now we're going to the midfield, right? So we're going to throw in Hayden, Shelby, John Joe Shelby is injured for a while, so we can't throw him in. Um, so well, let's see what else we got here. So Matt Ritchie, and you, as you see, this is, this is it's a pain in the butt, but it's just good to do this, get it out of the way. Uh, then, then you have an idea. Not only do I have an idea of the names of my players, who's injured, who's on vacation, yada, yada, but I also get to see, okay, how many players do we have on the team that aren't injured and ready to play? So now we get down and this is on the, the starting team and that's the last goalkeeper. All right. So we are 
we are one player short, and I, I would say two players short because you only want one goalkeeper on the bench. So we're two players short of a full 12 subs on the starting team. That doesn't mean anything. Obviously, under 23s can be promoted and things like that. But this is just a good start. Now I have an idea, okay, who's fitting in where, and you can look at your starting lineup, and we can say, like, whoa, like, we really need all the positions, right? I mean, we're just basic everywhere. Three stars in the Premier League, that's okay. But that you're not gonna you're not gonna be winning the Premier League with this team. I mean, let's just be honest. That's why we've got all this money to buy players. Now you can go like this and look down to this player. So for instance, inverted winger, support. Look at that. So he's better at inverted winger. Jacob Murphy, maybe he's better at inverted winger as other, which is very common. Okay, so they're both good at inverted winger. Okay, and this is another thing you can do now. No, St. Maxim might be better at something else, advanced forward rather than deep lying forward. Okay, so you can see he's better at a false nine as well. And this is the thing that that, that you always got to look down here. So the instructions, so the deep lying forward, take more risk, hold up ball, move into channels. Advanced forward, move into channels, right? So it's, it's just, just less instructions that he has. Target forward, dribble less, hold up ball. Poacher, take fewer risks, dribble less. Complete forward, takes more risk, dribble more, roam from position. So as you can see, that th these are all the different things that they do, right? So so e even if you don't know what these these things mean, what a trachearista is, uh, you, you could just look at this stuff and see, right? So false nine, takes more risks, dribbles more. Deep lying forward, takes more risks, holds a ball and moves into channels. But uh, it could be anything. So um, let's move it to complete forward. I like complete forward. That's one of my favorite positions to have because of the roam from position. When you have two strikers, having your complete forward and uh, target forward, poacher, uh, or attacking forward. So, so basically you have one who's roaming around trying to, uh, trying to make the plays happen, and the other one is your, your finisher who's going to just score the goals for you. Okay, so this is our setup. This is, I went through all of the tactics. Now, what am I going to do next? Oh, that's a good question. I am glad you asked me. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the fun part of going to the staff. Looking here, all of these empty bodies are all the staff we're missing. So we got six out of 10 coaches. We're missing a head performance analyst, and we're missing one performance analyst, right? Here's the recruitment team. We've only got five out of 10 scouts. We've got, we're missing the general manager. We got two out of four recruitment analysts. Over here on medical staff, we're missing two physios, but we got one extra sports scientist, okay? So this is just the overview, right? This is not telling you who's who. This is just giving you an overview, right? So you can go to the coaching team, for instance, and then it'll actually tell you the name of the players, their salary, their licenses, what, how long their contract goes to, right? Um, but that doesn't tell you how good they are, right? So you, this is probably what you need to do is go like this. Forget that. Who cares about them? I want to see their attributes, okay? So you want to move it down to the attributes right away. And I can see, okay, my assistant coach sucks, right? I want a better assistant coach. So I'll, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm probably going to terminate most everybody. We're going to do mutual termination. We're just going to go through and mutually terminate pretty much everyone who is not up to snuff. Now, head of youth development here, He's he's got 17 management, 17 youth. That's good enough for me, okay? Now, click on him and you'll see how much the other skills, right? So he works with youngsters, level discipline, motivating people manage, but he's got 14, 15, so that's, I'm not gonna fire him. So, okay, Steve Harper, you keep your job for now, right? Simon Smith, goalkeeping coach. Look at this, 14, 14, 14. That's not that great. Let me click on him further. But look at this, determination, discipline, and motivating. Those are the keys for a coach, all right? So he might not be the best goalkeeping coach, but he's got amazing uh, skills for the team. So he's keeping his job. Simon Smith, your job is secure. Nick Grantham, fitness coach, 16 fitness. Okay, I'm not going to mutually terminate him with a 16, it's green. But his determination, level, discipline, and motivating is not that good. So, you know what? I changed my mind. It's not good enough. It's not good enough, but I'm not going to mutually fire him. I'm not going to terminate him yet. I'm going to find all these other coaches first. So here we go. We go down the list here. We've got Steven Purchase, right? Okay. He's just, just okay. But the problem is you, you don't see the, the stats that really matter with this, right? So you got to click on them to see determination, discipline, motivating. He's gone. He's gone. All right. 
mutual termination, fire fired. And this is the key to do when you first start a save. I have not hit some, I have not simulated anything yet. I am just going through and finding my team. Graham Jones, here, here's a coach that's going to keep his job, okay? He's got average on there, but he's got decent training skills on a lot of different stuff. So Graham Jones, your job, your, at least for this year, right? Simon Weatherstone, he looks pretty bad. So he's just a regular coach. Look at this, horrible determination, discipline, motivating, just nothing. Mutual termination, just, just goodbye, goodbye. I'm going to find somebody better than you, okay? Ben Doss, let's check him out. He looks bad too. Okay, he's got 18 working with youngsters. That's great for your under 23s and your under 18s, but nope. Mutual termination. Goodbye. They're all going to be gone. Okay. Performance analyst. Hayden Rockall. Okay. So adaptability determination, he's got good. But look at this. Analyzing data is 12. Tactical knowledge is 5. Goodbye. Mutual termination. Yes, you're gone. And now I know this is rough because you're going to be running your team without many people uh, for a while, but this is just, you got to cut the dead weight. You just got to cut the dead weight. And this is probably one of the, the mistakes most people make when they play a save is they don't go through and fire everybody. That might be just the worst case people, but performance analyst sucks again. I'm going to fire him as well. Now that's all of the coaching staff. Okay. So I've gone through the coaching staff and I fired pretty much well, what six of them. You can see by the inbox there, six out of 10, 60% of my coaching staff. I just mutually terminated. They're gone. Okay. Now what are we going to do next? Medical team. We're going to do the same thing with every one of these teams and coaching attributes. All right. Chief doctor. You don't really have to worry about the chief doctor. You have no control over that. That's just whoever it is. You can't hire or fire them. Just leave them. Leave them be. Head physio, Derek Wright. Head physio is 20. His job is secure. Perfect. That's what you want. Head of sports science. His sports science is seven as head of sports science. You're fired, buddy. Hit the door. You're fired. Physio. 17. I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to fire them. I will try and find a 19 or 20 physio to replace Haycock, but he's not fired. Next physio, 16. Okay. I'm not going to fire him. I am going to try and find another, like same deal, 20 or 19, 18. Okay. So my physios are fine. We're keeping those three physios. Um, that's looking okay. So sports scientist, Daniel Hodges, 11. Okay. Let's look through all of them before we fire them. 11, 13, and 12. So we will fire. Now remember, we had three out of a, a, a max of two. So we have to fire one just to get to what the board wants. So we get Hodges fired. He had good fitness, right? Uh, so that's the other thing you want with a sports scientist is good fitness. But the key is that they got to have, they got to good, have good sports science. Like that's their job. Like he's not a fitness coach. So he's not a physiotherapist. Like, you know, he's a sports scientist. So I'm firing these two. And there we go. And let's go back. And now we got one more team. That is the scouting and transfers team. And I know this is fun, right? Watching me just sit here and fire people. It is actually fun, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going through and I'm firing everybody. This is what you got to do to start the game out, okay? I haven't even decided, like, I haven't even set up any training yet. I have not even tried to do any transfers and get any players, nothing. This is how you start up your first save. Go out there, fire everybody, get your staff in place. Number one, technical director. Let's see what he's got. Okay, 14, 15, and he's got 18 adaptability. I'm going to leave him because we fired so many people. We're going to let him go. Uh, here we go. We got Chief Scout, 19 adaptability, 16 player ability. Oh, okay. I got a cat joining me. Sorry. I must, I must back away while, while the feline comes into the play. He want, this is this Prince Charming, and Prince Charming is a diva. Loves being uh, in the camera. So uh, anyways, but like I was saying, here's our Chief Scout, 19 adaptability, 16 and 18. This is perfectly fine. He is not going to get fired. So we will go ahead and back right on out. The Chief Scout keeps his job. Paul Baker, our first scout. Okay, five adaptability, 12 and 13. You're fired. Mutual termination, gone. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, you're just gone. McTate, next one, 13, 14, 15, okay? I would like better, but because we already needed five scouts, and now we're going to need six because I fired one, I'm going to keep them around. And then this guy, sorry, 10 and 12 is just not going to make the cut. Mutual determination, guy, you poi. 
Yeah, God. Yeah, God. He just ain't making the cut. All right, the 14, 15, and 15, those are good numbers. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Next one, Sam Cheese Vincent. And I'm going fast. Yes, this guy's fire too. 12, 12, and 8. Pfft, gone. Gone, gone. As you see, every time you fire someone, that inbox is, is getting up, and that's it, the inbox telling you they agreed to the mutual termination. It costs you cash, whatever. Get rid of the dead weight. Bring in some better coaches, and, and it will it will just really, really improve, really, really improve your team. Recruitment analyst, 13 and 14. That's not horrible. It's not horrible. He's got decent judging player potential as well, so uh, he could be technically a performance analyst as well, uh, you know, or head performance analyst. He's 33 years old. So Christopher Nix is going to keep his job. That's another thing I did not mention earlier is look at their age. So if he's 33 as a coach, he's got a chance of improving. If they're 60s, they're not going to improve. That's, that's, that's pretty locked in stone. So he's 33. He's got a chance of getting better. Here we go. Recruitment analyst. He's 30, 13 and 12. He's got decent determination. So as you see there, but rather the staff member's own innate drive to better themselves. That means he's got a good chance of improving from 12 to 13. So Kevin Metcalf saves his job. Uh, loan manager, Shola. Um, oh, God, this is horrible. Look at this. Like, I mean, gray and analyzing data. Like, pfft. yeah, mutual termination. Not even, not even going to think about it. Who cares what, how old you are? You're all gone. You're all gone. So now that's what we've done. We went through our entire staff and... Let's go back to the overview. Like this is this is how I have not gone and confirmed this. So as you see here, we already had a ton of openings, right? There were a ton of openings, right? So here we go. You have to confirm all these firings. Cost us 2.2 million for this guy, right? Like this one's 1.2 million. This one's 1.2 million. Like this is costing us a lot of cash, right? 352K. It all adds up. But we have 278 million in the transfer budget. So there is no worry. Now, I, I'm sure you're going to have people out there who tell you, oh, no, you don't want to do that. You're taking money from your transfers. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. No, you do. You, you do not want dead weight on your team. Fire all the weak sauce. All right, we're not we're not going to put out adverts. I never put out adverts. You can search for them on your own. Okay, so here we go. We terminated everybody. They all are gone, as you can see. Boom, boom, boom. They're all gone. Terminated. Mutually terminated. Mutually terminated. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll go back to the staff and look at this. Our staff is we we have a dearth of people on the staff. Okay, so then. We're going to go ahead and do the really easy thing of searching for staff. What do I need first? Assistant coach. I need an assistant coach. So how do I do that? Well, let's go to staff search. I will go new search. And I, if you don't know what the default skills are for something, you just go like this. Go assistant coach. Boom. Okay. Edit my searches. I've got one thing. I'm looking for an assistant coach. Now, find an assistant coach, someone that says preferred job assistant coach. Okay. Gilbert here. All right, what are the skills that an assistant coach needs? They need motivating, people management, judging player ability, judging player potential, and tactical knowledge. Now, you don't want to filter for all of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, okay, motivating and people management. That's what I'm going to focus on for my assistant coach. So then I'm going to go attributes, motivating, people management, at least 15. Boom. And as you see, in, in grayed out here is... We, we've cut down the list to only the, the, the assistant coaches that have 15. So I'm going to narrow the list down even more. We'll go 16 on motivating, 16 on people management. So Nuno Gomes and Javier Garcia are the only two. All right. That just made it so easy for me, right? So he wants to be head of youth development, unfortunately. Bye-bye, Cap. He is, like usual, fickle. Nuno Gomes, we're going to see, okay, can... Let's look at assistant coach. So doesn't have tactical knowledge, but he's got people management, motivating, judging player ability, judging player potential. He's got all these greens here. Like this is a stud. So let's see if we can approach him and offer him an assistant coach job. All right. He wants 299K, and this is how I do my negotiations. So I'm going to go down to around 200K. I'm going to drop it in about a third. So we'll, uh, we'll do 208, some random number, right? And we'll suggest it. Okay, now, 
Obviously, assistant coach gets paid more, and that's how you see he jumped up his offer to 454. Now, this is this is a warning sign here. It says orange. Your opening offer is way too far. If I nickel and dime him way too much, he's gonna get pissed. So we're gonna jump our offer up to 377, right? We'll suggest that. Hopefully that works. Boom. It backfired on me. Backfired on me. So he's no longer interested. I screwed myself out of the best candidate for the job, right? Now, not 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 so fast. Javier Garcia. Also, people management, player ability, judging player potential. He also has goalkeeper skills because he's a goalkeeping coach. So he can perform, he can train the goalkeeping and be my assistant coach as well. We're gonna move that from goalkeeping coach he to Assistant coach, see if he's interested in that. Now he only wants 162K, so we're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna do a different negotiation. What do you want? Oh man, he wants 1.3 million to be the assistant coach. So see, we really screwed ourselves. We could have gotten a guy for 500K and because I am a cheap bastard, I'm gonna have to pay more. So I'm gonna go 1.17 and he says no. So I pissed off the two people. So now I've gotta go back in now, I'm, I'm showing you mistakes because we're all going to make these mistakes. You can offer them what they want. You don't have to negotiate if you if you don't want. I, I worked in negotiating with attorneys for over a decade. I, I'm a nickel and dimer. It's just in my nature. So I go, I drop down, and then we'll look here. Okay, so the next, we dropped it down to 1515. Now we got more choices. So here's, these are three that are free agents. I tend to like to go for, oh, sorry. Yeah, I tend to like to go for the free agents first just because they don't have a job. Uh, it, it, you got a better chance of getting them, right? So Jorge Ramos is the one that already got pissed at us. Let's look at Luis. Luis here. Okay, it's 15-14. He's got 15-15. All right, let's see what else we got here. Jorge, he's got 15-15 all across the board, but he's got great motivating. He's got decent, he's a goalkeeping coach, obviously. All right, so let, let's we already got, did Nuno, so uh, that's pretty much what we got. So let's look at Jorge Brado. Okay, he's got 19 people management, and then he's got 15 ability, 15 potential. So and he's got 15 motivating. So uh, when you click onto the assistant coach, that shows you motivating isn't as important as people management. So this is who I'm going to go for. We're going to approach him to sign, and we're going to put him for assistant coach because that's what I'm looking for. And he wants 426K. Let's suggest that. Ah, he only wants head of youth development. Now, I don't remember if I have a head of youth development, right? I do. I'm keeping my head of youth development. I don't want that. So so this is something you're going to run into. Sometimes you're like, I want you to be the assistant coach. And he's like, no, I want this job. And I'm like, no, be my assistant coach. No, he wants this job. So uh, be my assistant coach. I'll pay you more than what you want. Okay, fine. See that? See that? So I showed you both ways here. I showed you nickel and diming and losing out on two amazing candidates for assistant coach. And then I showed you one who did not want to be an assistant coach, but I paid him more than he wanted to be in his role. And he's like, oh, you're going to pay me more money to do something else? All right, I'm cool with that. There we go. Boom. We have assistant coach knocked out. So what do we got here? Vacant assistant coach. And this is another thing you can do. You can just highlight this empty player and it, this empty body here, and it'll tell you what role that is. Vacant, head performance analyst, as you see. Vacant, and then it's just, you could be one of these three, general goalkeeping fitness. So that means we need a goalkeeping coach and a fitness coach, okay? Uh, what's, that's what it's telling you, is get a goalkeeping, get a fitness, and get a general, okay? Um, but we also need head performance analyst. So we're still doing coaches, so let's, it's going to be easier to just go like this, go from assistant coach, we'll go to coach, and then motivating is, is something we want, but we're also going to pick motivating, determination, and discipline. Those are the three. The DDM is the three that you really want to go to, at least 15. Boom. There we go. Okay. And now you can drop down. There's only two people, so I can always drop one of those down. But there's only two. So we got Sergio Jimenez Rubio. Okay. So look at this guy. 18, 16, 15. Good stats, but the rest aren't that great. How about Tony? Tony, he's a scout. 
okay? He's a scout with these details, right? So I was looking for a coach. We found a scout, but he's also got the scouting stuff, right? So this is a stud right here. So I wanted to get a coach for my team, but I'm going to give him an, as a scout. We're just going to only a little bit down, 299 He agrees to that. Easy peasy. Bam. There you go. So we fill the role that we weren't even looking for. So now we got to edit our search because Sergio did not, I, he didn't have enough skills for me to want to do that. So we're going to go, okay, what, what are we going to go down? We're going to go down to 14 on level of discipline. That brings up one more person, Simon Wiles. Okay, let's hit up Simon Wiles. He's got 16, 15, 14. And once again, as, as a coach, highlight the coach. He does not have the actual coaching skills. So sadly, that is not what I want. So I'm going to, I'm going to say, okay, we'll go determination down to 14, right? And this is just, this is how I do it. Filter it down, filter it down. Okay. Uh, we got Simon, we got Tony. Sergio is, is, he's not going to be a coach. We might still go back to Sergio. Don't get me wrong, but let's, I'm just going to look around, look around, look around. And we got Claude here. Okay. Claude, 14, 14, 15, working with youngsters, 16, and he's got some decent stats here. So. I'm I'm leaning towards Claude, but let's let's look at the other ones. David, okay, not not really that great as you can see compared to Claude. Compared to Claude, all right. Greg Shields, let's see the last one here. No, so let's go back to David and we'll compare him. We'll compare him with Claude. And this is another thing you can do. If you don't know which one to hire, do this. Okay, this is the okay. So Claude doesn't have as much reputation. Dave's got better reputation at a younger age, right? But it will tell you who is better in which staff, right? So Claude is on the on the right in blue, Dave is on on the left in green. And so you go down to each stat and you see Dave is better on this, Claude's not better on that, et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see here, people management, tactical and technical, Dave is better. But all of these adaptability, potential, staff ability, they're equal on, on, on some of the important things, right? So what is it? Tactical knowledge. So you have a tough choice here, right? They're both pretty good on coaching, but I, I was, I was leaning towards Claude. Claude was the one I wanted. So we're going to leave, we'll go back. And I think he's the one we're going to add as a coach. So we're going to approach to sign him as a coach. I'm not going to go down too much. We'll go to 299K, and then we'll negotiate a little bit. Okay, we'll go up to 312, and he accepts it. Simple, simple, simple. I got him for just a little bit less than he wanted. There we go. So now we've made an offer for the assistant coach. We made an offer for a general coach, and we made an offer for one scout out of one scout out of the six that we're missing. And I and I'll do a couple more, but I don't want to make it too long. We're already we're already getting up there in the time. I don't know when it's edited down. It's gonna be 40, 50 minutes. Before you even hit continue and move one simulation hour, you want to fire your staff, hire all the staff. And I'm gonna make another video to show you how to deal with the transfer window, because we are in the transfer window. So that is the second step that you're going to want to do. But the first step that everybody forgets about is go through everybody on your staff, fire the ones who aren't going to make the cut, and then go through and make offers on day one. I'm going to go through and make a bunch of transfer offers as well. But this is going to now be a two-part video. So tune in. Part two will be coming out eventually. And thank you once again. Please like, subscribe, and comment for that algorithm. Once again, Damien Geppetto, thank you for listening all the way to the end, and you have yourself a wonderful day.